Dr. Lecter. My name is Clary Starling. May I talk with you? Good morning. Doctor, we have a hard problem in psychological profiling. I want to ask for your help with a questionnaire. We mean the Behavioral Science Unit at Quantico. You're one of Jack Crawford's, I expect. I am, yes. May I see some identification? Closer, please. Closer. That expires in one week. You're not real FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. We're talking about psychology, doctor, not the Bureau. Can you decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified? Mm. That's rather slippery of you, Officer Starling. Sit. Please. What did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, I can smell your cunt. I see. I myself cannot. You use Evian skin cream. And sometimes you wear Layer du Temps. But not today. You have brought your best bag, though, haven't you? Yes. It's much better than your shoes. Maybe they'll catch up. I have no doubt. Did you do those drawings, Doctor? Yes. That's the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. Do you know Florence? All that detail. Is it just from memory? Memory, Officer Starling, is what I have instead of view. Dr. Lecture, please no. consider. No, no, you were doing fine. You've been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You've established trust with the most embarrassing truth about Miggs. And now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. It won't do. It's stupid and boring. I'm only asking you to look at this doctor. Either you will. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he's recruiting help from the student body. Off hunting this new one. Buffalo Bill. Such a naughty boy. Has he sent you to me to ask for my advice on him? No, I came because we need... How many women has he used? Our Bill. Five so far. All flayed? Partially, yes, but doctor, that's an active case. I'm not Why involved. Why is he called Buffalo Bill? Tell me. The newspapers won't say. I'll tell you if you look at this form. It started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide. They said, this one likes to skin his humps. Witless and misleading. Why do you think he keeps their skins, Officer Starling? Thrill me with your wisdom. It excites him. 
m most serial killers like to keep some sort of trophies. I didn't. No. You ate yours. Send that through. Oh. Officer Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No, I only hope that your knowledge... Will... You're so ambitious, aren't you? You know what I see with your good bag and your cheap shoes? I see a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition has given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation removed from poor white trash, are you, Officer Starling? What was your father, dear? Was he a coal miner? Did he stink of the lamp? And how quickly the boys found you all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars while you were trying desperately to get out, get anywhere. Yes. Getting all the way to the F.B.I. You see a lot, Dr. Lecter. But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? How about it? Look at yourself and write down the truth. Maybe you're afraid to. You're a tough one, aren't you? Reasonably so. You'd hate to think you are common. Ah, oh, wouldn't that sting? Well, you're far from common, Officer Starling. All you have is the fear of it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good day. And the questionnaire? A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice key ante. Fly back to school, little star.